During ultrasound examination of the posterior surface of the heel, the patient pursues the prone position, as you can see over here. Okay? This is the Achilles tendon. And for the examination of the retrocalcaneal bursa, all right, uh, we put the probe over here, okay, and this is the sagittal view or the longitudinal view of the Achilles tendon and the retrocalcaneal bursa. We recommend the usage of a smaller head of the transducer probe. Again, this is the longitudinal or the sagittal view to see the retrocalcaneal bursa. Okay? And when you turn the probe by 90 degrees, you can then see the retrocalcaneal bursa under its transverse view. It is under this transverse view okay in which the needle is inserted for injection into the retrocalcaneal bursa for the treatment of retrocalcaneal bursitis okay during ultrasound examination of the posterior surface of the heel the patient pursues the prone position. This is the ultrasound image, the sagittal sonogram of the posterior surface of the heel, showing the enlarged retrocalcaneal bursa okay, between the calcaneum and the Achilles tendon. The ultrasound probe is then turned 90 degrees to see the transverse view of the enlarged retrocalcaneal bursa. As you can see over here, this is the transverse sonogram showing the enlarged retrocalcaneal bursa between the calcaneum and the Achilles tendon. This is the transverse sonogram showing the linear echogenic needle tip to be inserted into the enlarged retrocalcaneal bursa. The needle tip is now within the bursa, and we're going to start the injection. After ultrasound guided injection, the bursa is clearly distended by the injected fluid. This concludes our ultrasound guided injection treatment of retrocalcaneal bursitis.